It took a while, but GMC and Cadillac's exclusive on the 420 horsepower truck motor is over. Available only in the new Tahoe RST and backed by a 10 speed automatic, the 6.2 liter V8 makes this the fastest Tahoe ever, with Chevy claiming 060 in 5.7 seconds. That being said, the tires are good for only 130 miles per hour and the limiter is lower than that, so you still can't outrun a 5.3 powered PPV. The Rally Street truck package for the Tahoe or Suburban is only a cosmetic bundle, including wheels and tires, with blackout and color match trim replacing chrome, new grille and badges, and Blarionza HLP 285-45 R22110H tires on the unique wheels. We like the subtle improvements, which aren't overwrought, but to each her own. The RST package is available on 2WD or 4WD models, and none of the mechanical options affect the tow ratings, which are greater than 8,000 pounds. Optional on the Tahoe but not the Suburban is the 6.2-liter engine package. For a reasonable $2,800, it adds the 420-horsepower engine with 460-pound-feet of torque, the 10-speed automatic. 3.23 to 1 gears, integrated trailer brake control, 2-speed active transfer case on 4WD, big alternator, and most important, magnetic ride control damping with a performance tilt. You can also get Brembo supplied 16.1-inch front brakes with 6 piston calipers for $2,795, which are also offered on the 2018 Yukon Denali. An Aborla exhaust Chevy says add 7 to 2010 rear wheel horsepower and 28% more flow. At certain throttle settings it adds about 28% more noise, too. Hammer the gas and the 6.2 bellows, launching the Tahoe forward with barely a chirp, in 2WD. The sub 6 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time feels entirely plausible, but when at that magic number we wondered what will I do with the other 8 gears? It's conceivable you can use any of seven gears at most road speeds, and the shifts are quick and clean regardless how many intervals are skipped, so the nominal 1,500 revs between peak horsepower and peak torque are largely irrelevant. EPA city ratings drop by two from the 5.3 but highway numbers are identical, and ours showed 21 against EPA's 22 estimate. Our ears still find the 5.3 a mechanically sweeter, more refined sound. But at these cruising revs it's more likely audio feels will detect V4 operation instead of raucous sonority. The Borla exhaust sounds authoritative at moderate to wide throttle application before settling into background noise, though it should be noted our rear seat passenger announced unprompted that after 45 minutes he'd tire of it. You might, too, towing a trailer up a long grade. The marriage of engine to gearbox is very good, with only one awkward shift felt where traffic couldn't work itself out and going from D to M at highway speeds generally dropped it into 7. In gentle highway cruising the tack occasionally fluttered in the 1100 to 1300 range, which we'll attribute to converter locking as the V4 icon was dark. The steering feels heavier than other recent Tejos, even those fitted with dealer installed 22s of the same size, and the damping calibration is definitely firmed up yet there's no pogo sticking on interstate slabs or jolts. Ultimate grip may be up slightly, and improvement increases the poorer the road surface gets because MRC is so much better at keeping tires in contact. We're torn as to whether the added performance benefits outweigh the rubber band tire drawbacks. The brake pedal may have slightly better modulation, at least deep into the travel, than the standard arrangement and the huge increase in swept area should cope with those iffy trailer brakes better, but rush hour Dallas traffic offered no investigative options. On a 4WD Premier Tahoe the RST pack is $2,630, most of which is the wheels, the 6.2 Performance Pack $2,820, the front brakes $2,795 and a few sundry upgrades brought the total to just shy of $79,000. For quick reference that's about the same as a Base X 550 IM Sport, $5,000 less than a GLS 450, and $8,000 more than a nicely fitted Durango SRT, none of which tow or carry as much. A Platinum Expedition with 400 horsepower and 480 pounds to foot, that tows a thousand pounds more, is similar money.